If you're familiar with this channel, you know it's all about science. And today we're going to help Angie Jones to conduct a science experiment. She did it on Twitter and she posted this image asking, you can only choose one of these to eat. Which one are you going with? And she's doing it for research purposes. So of course we're going to help her. Leave your answer and extensive reasoning, please, down in the comment section below. Because there is only one correct answer, obviously. Looking at this wheel of bananas, I can confidently say that the only banana that is truly peak banana, the alpha banana, so to say, is banana number five. There is no discussion. Banana number five is the one that comes straight out of the green phase when it's not fully ripe yet. And then it peaks at five. And then at six, it's already a descent into like a mushy, disgusting, disgusting, unedible piece of garbage, basically. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. I have a banana here just showing this. It can also be used to measure things. Many people on the internet use it as a scale, but we are not concerned about that. We're talking about the taste. This is probably a, I don't know, where is this? A eight, nine, eight. I guess it's already a nine, right? It's already like a bit wrinkly. You see what I mean? It's not really fresh anymore. This kind of banana... Ugh, look, it's already open. It's disgusting. It's a disgusting banana. Five, anything eight and above is gross and goes into my freezer. What? Who freezes bananas? Who does such a thing? Nobody freezes bananas. When bananas look like that, you throw them away. Or you blend them with milk or something. That's kind of an emergency solution. But you don't freeze them. Look, that one here looks even molded. Why would you freeze? That's quite disgusting. And if you freeze bananas... Would you not take the skin off before you freeze them? I mean, trying to peel off that frozen skin, I'd imagine it would like rip all the time. It must be a nightmare. This is not a good idea. Don't freeze bananas. I understand it's good to save food, but this is just disgusting and borderline disturbing. Mark Ruffalo says nine. What? Nine? You Nine is... At the end of the spectrum, nine is just before you can't really eat it anymore. I mean, I'm eating a nine banana, but I'm if I have the choice of having only one from all those, it who would choose nine? Mark Ruffalo, what's going on with you? Dude, you can't be like a nine banana type of guy, honestly, man. And Sarah replies, Mark Ruffalo is correct. Nine is the banana for eating. No, that's not correct. You don't you can't eat a nine banana. You can blend it. You can blend it if you're in the right mood, but you cannot eat it. It's absolutely barbaric. Somewhere around four. I like the tartness when they have a little bit green in them. Yes, I'm a monster. But four is absolutely fine, right? Five, four, that's absolutely okay. That's that's like the safe spectrum, you know. Even three, I can live with three, because you buy three and then it lasts you a day or whatever. I mean I have to eat it now, I know I'm trying to But anything above seven is just unacceptable to me. Like it's not like there's no argument. There's there's just no argument to have out there. Mark Ruffalo is factually wrong. Oh, so people are also, what are they doing? They're pinching bananas to create patterns, I believe, right? It's called banana oxidation drawings. That's nice. We're learning something. This channel is all about education. You know it. So let's look at some banana oxidation drawings. Look at this. That's unreal, man. People are making artworks in bananas. Are they then eating the banana or are they just watching it rot away? I do kind of like the temporariness of it, though. It's, it's quite cool. Wow, some incredible stuff there. Look at that elephant. <laughs> was that the Hoover Dam? I'm not sure. It's, the, it's a dam. I don't know what dam it is. People are doing anything these days, right? I mean, we're all in lockdown, I guess, some of us. So this does have like kind of a weird, pleasing aesthetic about it, though. It's really nice. I like it. And check as well. He's using the borderline ripe bananas that are just coming out of the green face because that's prime banana. I can't say it often enough. Anyway, guys, what do you think? Which banana are you going for? Leave it down in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can smash the like button. You can subscribe if you haven't yet done that. I'm doing most of my videos about bananas. Every now and then I'm talking about different things. So for now, I'm going to leave you with the Greta Thunberg banana. And I hope you're having a good day. Take care of yourselves. And I'm out. Bye.